Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Savage Firewood channel. It's Brad here. So uh, today I'm going to show you how I make a uh, fire starter. A uh, very simple way. And uh, two variations. I make them in uh, pucks and uh, into egg cartons. So uh, stay tuned. So, here we are guys, fire's beaming, it's uh, burning quite nice from the, that fire stir that I put in there. That's all, it was all red oak, it was uh, seasoned, whatever, but uh, yeah, you don't have to use any kindling or you could use a little bit of kindling with it, but it works amazing. So anyways, so we're going to get down to what you're going to really need to, in order to make these fire starters. And we'll start off with... Uh, what you're going to put the fire starter in. So these are just uh, trays, so template of source. Uh, I figured this would be a good uh, um, way of uh, making a fire starter, making pucks and such. So we got a couple of trays here like that. Uh, you can also use uh, egg cartons. I've done it that way. So where is actual, what it's actually uh, formed in is, is, uh, is uh, combustible and you just like the, the egg carton and with the with the, the fire starter inside, it kicks off that way. So that's another way. And it's a way of like recycling in a sense too. So it's a good way of doing that. So um, we have, so the next thing we'll get into is uh, the wax. So you'll need a form of wax. So this is, it was a big candle at one point. And I just chopped it down to the size so it's gonna fit into my container that I'm gonna melt it down in. So this is there has a smell of, uh, raspberries or something and so you know i mean even your uh, fire starter will have a nice scent to it at the end so depending on what you want to use there or you can use uh or something you can purchase from any local hardware store this is uh someone uh, gave me this not sure who but it was a while ago it's uh pure refined wax it's peril wax you know it's good for canning candle making and fire starter right so yeah um Need something to protect the floor, of course, that you're going to do this on because uh, melted wax gets on something, it's not fun to remove. So be mindful of that. And of course, you're going to need sawdust, good dry sawdust, right? Key. That's our main ingredients. And of course, we need a, a pair of gloves, right? So to remove the, the pot. I didn't mention that already. So you'll need something to melt the, the wax in. So something that can withstand the heat. And uh, here we go. So that will work for that. And then I made myself a, a little ladle. Just took a spoon, bent it to 90. And that's just for maybe finishing up. Or if you just want to take small amounts of wax, etc. So, yeah. That's pretty much all you're going to need. And uh, that's about it. So let's get to it. Okay. So we're going to get started here making uh, some of these uh, fire starters. And uh, first we're going to put our container on the wood stove. Voila. Okay. So then we're going to start getting our wax pieces here. And we're going to start putting some of the ash. We'll put a big piece in here, see if it's going to fit. If not, I'm going to cut it down again, but I'll try it out. Oh, nice. So will grab uh, some of our pieces here. Now we've got some wax in there. We'll take a little bit more. A little bit more wax in there. We'll see what happens here. I'm probably gonna, I actually find this melts down very quick. It's, uh, it's amazing. Use your wood stove. So it's not even costing you that way, really. So using uh, the wood stove to heat your uh, wax, it's uh, quite uh, convenient. All right, so we'll get this uh, going here. We'll just... <clears throat> Oh, 
and watch this come down. I'll bring you back there in a bit on that. So what we're gonna do right now, we're just gonna fill up these trays here with sawdust. I'm actually hoping I got enough sawdust here, but we'll see. I made a tray last night out of this, so. Well, we'll make what we can here. For the demonstration purposes anyways. All right, that should try that. Right, and then what we just do is we Right here. Okay. Like so. Okay. There we go. So that's that is twelve right there. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, twelve. Twelve array of uh, fire starter pucks. So uh, this start there and then I'll actually I'll fill the same thing up here all right so we got the the muffin pans ready to go full of sawdust I didn't mention that you don't use uh, your wives or um, your mother's uh, cookware it would not end in a good result out of that so anyways that's good, good to go. So now we're waiting on the, the wax to melt here. And it has started, it's dropping down. So that'll be a little bit. So wait out. All right there guys and girls, uh, this is where we're at right now. So we have a liquid wax right now. So it's actually still pretty cool there, but I'll use my gloves there to hold on to it and bring it down to where we're going to fill. These pans fill with sawdust. Okay, so I'm going to put you on the tripod here. And we'll zoom you in. There we go. Good liquid wax. One thing I didn't tell you at the beginning, I was just trying something different. Well, from the spoon or pouring, because I find it's uh, very difficult to uh, control the pour. So a good uh, ladle or a soup spoon, whatever you want to call it. So that will give you more control. So here we go. Let's get her done. Oh, maybe I'm messing with you. That's why newspapers there. It's over here. There we go. Alright, here we have it. They're all poured, filled with wax. Now we're going to transform them to, uh, to a cold area. I'm going to put them in the garage. They'll cool down. And I'll show you the final results. Alright there, guys. So I hope this uh, helps out some people that maybe never knew how a uh, fire starter can be made. Pretty simple. Sawdust, some type of containment to hold the sawdust in, depending on the size uh, fire starter you want. Make to an ice cube tray, that would work as well. Um, so yeah, melt down some wax, you know, I use it on the wood stove itself. That it doesn't cost you anything there electricity wise, if you're not thinking about it, but you know, you end up with uh, stuff like, boom, right, here you go, you know, like 
you can actually break this in half and this would be you know, two fire starters or you know whatever so and the other option that I've done here currently is is uh yeah doing it with an egg carton okay, pretty easy peasy so uh so anyways I hope this uh helps out you guys or anyone that was interested in making fire starter uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to sell them for yet. If I plan on, you know, that's something I want to add into my firewood um, uh, business type of thing. So anyways, uh, if any of you guys have any ideas what I should sell something like this for, like, please leave it down in the comments. Or if you have a better way of, um, of making the fire starter or an extra ingredient that it makes it even better or something, yeah, please let me know. I'd be very interested in, in, in hearing what you have the guys have to say. So, uh, Anyways, I appreciate every one of you guys watching my videos and, uh, and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, it doesn't cost you a thing. Just, you know, click subscribe and, and I'll have more content and interesting stuff coming up uh, uh, here shortly. So, once again, appreciate everything. We always say, work hard, play harder. Savage Firewood. Mm -hmm.